Welcome back again to the programme, part two of today's programme. Well, it's Ireland's longest unsolved missing persons case. It's a case which has divided a community and has now split a family apart. Mary Boyle was just six years old when she disappeared from her grandparents' home at Cashelard in Ballyshannon on the 18th of March 1977. She had followed her uncle when he was delivering a ladder back to a neighbour's house, which was just 400 yards away. It was the last ever reported sighting of Mary. Despite 41 years of searches, guard investigations, arrests, accusations of political interference and endless speculation, no trace of Mary has ever been found. But there are those who insist the truth is out there and that those closest to the case know what exactly happened. Well, we've been talking with Mary Boyle's mother, Anne Boyle, who's refuted those suggestions and insists there is no family cover-up. But have you come to terms with the probability of very likelihood that, that she is dead? Well, people just say that to me, but I always try and... The, the way I lived was that somebody had picked her up and it was good to her and took her away to the country and that they brainwashed her. Brainwashed her. And, and that she's living a different life somewhere else, anywhere in the world. She could be anywhere in the world. I, I, I don't know what happened to Mary. And, and publicity like that, and publicity in general, and it has created, as you know, huge publicity for yes. many years, and yes. even more so in recent years. How, yes. how, how difficult is that for you, Anna, and for the family? Well, that was horrible stuff that went on the, 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 in the last couple of years. And, and I got hate mail over the head of it. And, and it was shocking stuff. It would frighten the life of you. What, what sort of hate mail? I know you got Christmas cards, isn't that right? A Christmas card. As if it was a letter from we Mary herself, and uh, this uh, I started off about that I would, be, you will be enjoying Christmas, but I am not, and uh, how much she hated me, and that uh, she was up in heaven with her dad, but that I wouldn't be joining them, that I would go down to hell, 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 and uh, every little noise I'd hear at night. I'd be the team come to get me. It was horrible stuff. It, it was frightening stuff. I, I didn't re- in the beginning. I couldn't read it because I'd throw it away. You and, know? and that was written as if it came came yes, from Mary herself. And, and, and that I caused Charlie to take his own life. It was horrible stuff. It was awful stuff. And that uh, uh, that if I didn't confess before midnight, at the end of two thousand and sixteen. That was the year it was that uh, the team would come and get me and torture me for three days and bury me alive. There's something about Mary. Are you the little guy making all that big noise? When there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth.
I believed that Mary had a secret, and because Mary was feisty, um, Mary would have told. So I believed that Mary had to be killed to stop her from telling. I, I saw Mary Boyle. I, I knew she was a, a human being. I would say that there are a small cohort of people out there, known to Mary, who has who have vital information. <laughs> I, I saw Mary Boyle. I, I knew she was a, a human being.